This is Andrew here with TRS. I've got the three inch FXR, the two and a half inch FXR, and the Mini H1. I'm gonna be reviewing all three just to show you some of the differences. Uh, mainly you'll see the size difference. You've got the three inch lens. It's obviously going to be a lot larger than the other two. Mini H1, two and a half inch lens only. FXR, obviously the same, same body overall. You've got a three inch lens on this one, two and a half on this one. Otherwise, they're exactly the same. Performance is gonna be the same with them. Uh, three inch lens is just going to give you a more aesthetic uh, filling look in the headlight. If you've got a larger headlight, the three inch lens is going to give you a better look overall. Uh, but again, that's just aesthetic. Again, no performance gain at all. Uh, between these two, obviously a lot larger with the FXR, so you have to take that in mind. If you've got a very slim headlight, you need to keep that in mind. You might not be able to fit it. You might have to go with the, the Mini H1 just because of size reasons. Uh, but if you do have the size, the FXR is definitely worth the increase in difficulty because you cannot install it with the threaded shaft at the rear. You've got to glue it in or bolt it in or something else because it doesn't have that same design at the rear. Uh, with that in mind, FXR will give you a little bit better performance overall in width and intensity. Um, definitely worth the upgrade in my mind, uh, but uh, if you know, you're starting out with retrofits, it might not be the best thing for you. You just want to get comfortable with a retrofit before you undertake something like this because a uh, very small adjustment here and there can throw it off immensely. Mm -hmm.